Hi, my name's Johnny. And I'm Nafisa. And we're Science Communications Industrial Placement students here at Bowlby Underground Laboratory. We thought it'd be a good idea to show you a day in the life of a placement student here, so... Let's go. Let's go. Everyone at Bowlby tends to get in for around 8am. I've got some photo and video editing to do today, so I'll be staying on the surface at my desk. My day today will be spent underground. This means getting changed into our orange high-vis PPE. This ensures that we are safe and visible when travelling one kilometre underground to the lab. Let's go to the lab! Our lab is in a working polyhalite mine in the northeast of England. So to get down there, we need to take a seven-minute lift ride at 9am. Once we're underground, it's about a 10-minute walk to our lab. Today, I'm going to be starting my day in the Mars yard. Once everybody's left to go underground, the surface office tends to get a bit quiet. So I use this as an opportunity in the mornings to collect my thoughts and make myself a brew. As part of my job, I focus on public engagement and outreach. Next week, we have a couple of visitors, so this morning I'm making sure everything in the Mars Yard is in order. The Mars Yard has been home to a wide range of great science throughout the years. This includes carbon capture, renewable energy storage and astrobiology. Editing is going pretty well so far. Vegas has only crashed twice this hour, which I think is a new record. One of my colleagues, George, has been teaching me how to edit photos like a real photographer, so I've been doing that while slowly getting through the communal biscuits before everybody gets back to the surface. As we approach midday, I'm heading into the lab and straight over to the clean side. This involves getting changed into our clean room attire because the lab operates as a class 10,000 clean room. The main hall is where we host the majority of our science projects, this ranges from dark matter detection to developing early warning systems for tsunamis. I'm currently fixing up some posters to accompany their respective experiments. In the afternoon, I gave a tour to an apprentice engineer from another lab. He's currently working with us on some 3D modeling. In this clip, I'm talking about a new experiment that's going to be coming to the lab in the near future. Making some great progress on the edits so far today, but it's been about half an hour since I had a cup of tea and I'm in dire need of another. Next, I had to quickly pop into Bugs, our Bulby underground screening facility. This is our material assay suite where we screen for background radiation. After I left Bugs, I had to quickly hop onto a meeting on my laptop before we started our journey back to the surface. I managed to get Sony Vegas up and running again and everything was going well, biscuits tasting as good as ever. Then I looked at my watch and realised I had a meeting that I'd forgotten about in a minute's time and you can't join a meeting without a cup of tea so it's gonna have to be a quick one.
Now it's time to head back to the surface. This means getting changed back into my orange high-vis PPE. Going back up to the surface is essentially just the reverse of coming down. We walk 10 minutes back to the lift shaft and ride 7 minutes to the top. Once you're back on the surface building, you can get changed back into your regular clothes for the remainder of your day. Thank you for joining us for a day in the life of a placement student here at Bulby Underground Lab. If you'd like to see more content from us, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or YouTube. There'll be links in the description or on screen now. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. See ya.